Today we're going to do a Dolly vs. Midjourney movie poster music shootout. Now I've seen every kind of Midjourney vs. Dolly shootout imaginable, which is better for pitch decks, artwork, storyboards, and even cartoons. But there's one kind of Midjourney vs. Dolly video that you've never seen before, and that's which one makes better music. That's right, both Midjourney and Dolly now create music thanks to a free tool called SoundGen. Now SoundGen can turn pretty much anything into music. I can bring in a song idea and build on it, I can open up a video and make music for it, I can take a melody and have SoundGen use that melody to make even more music, I can also tell SoundGen exactly exactly what I want through text. And I can upload images to SoundGen to create original music. SoundGen can make music from anything, including product images, pictures of buildings or nature or your friends, images of your dog or anything else that you're into. But today we're going to be trying Movie Poster to see which platform creates the best images and which images create the best music. So who will reign supreme in both visuals and sound? Let's find out. I wanted to give each platform its best shot, so I created up to four images for each genre. Heavy metal, horror, monster movie, quirky indie comedy, romance, and then finally sci-fi. So I tweaked my prompts and finally picked the best from each set right here, then I brought each image into SoundGen to generate music. Starting a new project, we can click on the image button, import the image that we would like from our computer, wait a moment for the AI to make the prompt, and then click generate. A few moments later, and I've got the music that SoundGen thinks would fit these images. So now that you know how I made these images and how SoundGen can transform that into music, let's judge the results. First, I'll be showing all the comparisons between the mid journey and dolly generations and the music that soundgen created along with it and we'll pick some winners so keep the ones you like in mind for the final reveal now let's get to the comparisons all right so for the first generation we're going to be looking at the monster movie prompts where it's going to be straight image to music where all i did was plug in the images of soundgen and it gave me the prompts after analyzing it i did not alter the prompt at all from there and here's what it sounds like <laughs> Very interesting, okay. Captured the essence pretty well over there, but now let's go on over to the next monster movie poster, where we have this image right here. So let's see which poster we thought made the best music. Okay, really cool right there. Very ominous and repeating notes over here. But just look at this image over here. Like, I really like the way that this uh, image came out. All right, now moving on over to the quirky indie comedy poster. All right, now for all the rest of the audio generations, after getting the prompt from plugging in the image to sound gen, I then use the magic wand tool to get a better prompt. So let's see if we get any better generations. Here's the first image. <laughs> Okay, so there I think it fit the poster pretty well, and I think that sounded very playful and could have been during like a montage sort of thing for the movie. Definitely very quirky. And now for its comparison. something right there. I feel like I can already hear like somebody running in a scene using the song behind it. So that's immediately what I'm trying to go for. The entire generation was pretty good, but then there's like the back half over here, like the near the end of the entire loop here that I actually really like. Everything right there. So whenever you find something that either A, you like, or maybe you only like a certain part of it, I can actually go on over to the expand tool where I can then extend this entire loop through a certain part and take reference from this section right here. Then hit a confirm right there and expand song. And let's see how we like this new extended version right here. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so from right there, we can obviously tell that there's a pretty big switch up right here, which I do not like. So using the clip option over here, we can get rid of that altogether. And then confirm, and now we've got this little section right here that will not be included. Okay, now time to look at the horror movie poster. I do like how it's giving like a board around here. It makes it feel more like a poster, and there's a lot more going on with detail. Uh, like we're in a graveyard of some sort with a ominous being up ahead. those keys. Okay, yeah, so very haunting, very ominous, and I love the keys that were in there. Some of the notes being played here were so very ominous and very eerie. Really helps fit the, the horror movie genre. All right, now time for the comparison of the horror movie posters. This one also very good for the generation. This poster is a bit more open-ended over here, so let's see what the music did with that. more like build up on this one. Oh, OK. 
Okay, I like the uh, the little hit that we have right here. For the sci-fi movie posters over here, I actually use the remix feature. So just like I showed you with expand, remix mode takes the key, BPM, and instrumentation of the audio that you uploaded, and then builds on it based on your text prompt. So here's what I gave it. And here's what it made. Feels very desolate, very lonely. Okay, and as you can see over here, the feeling is isolated and expansive to where it's a very, you know, it's an ever-expanding universe and completely alone. So this actually captured the mood perfectly for what I was going for. Now comparing that to the other alternative over here, listen to how Soundgen takes the same idea I uploaded and then goes in a completely new direction with it. Both of these, I feel, capture the essence of what I'm going for. Still isolated, but more awe-inspiring and a little bit more hopeful. And one really fun way to test out your generation is going to be by putting some video behind it. Going up to the top of the project, you can hit this button right here, or I can copy a link and plug it straight into SoundGen. But we are not quite done yet over here. Here's the romantic comedy. Okay, so for this one, as you can see over here, like we did with the sci-fi poster, we did use the audio prompts, but instead of using the remix, we went to the melody mode instead. Okay, definitely good over there. I feel like this is definitely a poster that you, that you would see for romantic comedy. Even going as far over here to have the credits and everything on the bottom over there and disclaimers and everything. I do know over here that her arm is going to be like a, a mile long over this guy's shoulder and feet definitely shouldn't be bending that way, but that's okay. Because now we can go on over to the comparison over here with a bunch of balloons, butterflies, things flying in the background, very Wonderland sort of deal in the background. Sounds very bright, dreamy, and romantic. Okay, now time for the heavy metal posters over here. Uh, this one right here definitely fits my own taste, and I think this one worked out very, very well here. But now we can go check out the final comparison over here. More of like a hair metal, heavy rock sort of deal. And let's see how it did. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of the comparisons, did you remember all the ones that you liked? Because now it's time to reveal who the winners are. Alright, first up is going to be the monster movie poster. Now for this comparison, I think I did like the one on the left a bit better over here as far as what the music created. Had a few more musical elements in there and I felt like it fit the scene quite a bit better. Alright, now it's going over to the romantic movie poster. I do love whenever AI tries to generate like cap like a title or caption or something like that. It always does really, really well. Okay, so out of these two right here, over on the right, we're going to have the mid journey, which I think did have the better music. Okay, we are all tied up now. So let's move on over to the quirky indie comedy. And for this comparison, if it was not already obvious, I do like the one on the right a bit better over here, which is going to be the Dolly version once again. <laughs> Okay, onto the horror movie poster. And now for this one, it wasn't really even close for me. This one was fine. I just think that the one captured in this picture over here was miles better. So once again, Dolly takes another point there. Heavy metal movie poster. All right, so a little bit about myself. I'm actually a pretty big metal head, so I hold this one pretty close to my heart. And once again, don't even think it was close. And I think that Mid Journey definitely took this one. Right, so this is going to be the breaking point, the tiebreaker. Is Dolly going to run away with it, or can Mid Journey make a comeback? Okay, and for these sci-fi movie posters over here, 
I think as far as the images go, I may like this one a little bit better. It's got some more detail on the suit and everything, but I think as far as the music that was created from the image, definitely the doll E took that one as well. <laughs> Okay, so for these six categories, it was a resounding victory for Dolly, in my personal opinion. But we want to hear from you. Which platform do you think won today? Did the music work for you? Where did it shine? Where did it fail? Drop your comments down below, because I'd love to hear what you guys thought about this AI matchup. So that wraps up our Mid Journey vs. Dolly shootout. It's amazing to see that these tools can create more than just art. It can even influence music as well. So if you enjoyed this unique AI battle, be sure to drop a like for us down below, subscribe for more future content, and hit the notification button. And we can't wait to see you in the next one.